Yo, 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 what's up, homies? This is Joseph A. Savoy here, keeping it real. Because I'm going to talk about one of my favorite cereals of the 90s. And it finally came back. It's called French Toast Crunch. <laughs> okay, I was doing my that homeboy impression, that sort of way. Anyway, yes, it finally came back after all these years since it got discontinued back in 2006. Now, this cereal did first came out in 1995. It was a spin-off to Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you know, the cereal with the tiny squares with cinnamon and sugar all over every bite long before they started getting the the bakers including Window, which he later became the only mascot in town. So only leaving those two behind, yeah. And then later, you know, they started adding the cinnamon swirls over the cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah. Well, then when I heard that uh, General Mills was going to come up with a cereal called French Toast Crunch, you know, which is based on the French toast that I really love, because I always loved French toast growing up, I thought uh, this was going to be awesome. Because I, I was so curious to try this cereal. But I didn't try this cereal until a year later. Because I only turned 11 years old by that time. And, and I was actually watching some Charlie Brown specials. And then suddenly, you know, my family actually bought this cereal. And I started eating it ever since. It tasted really good. It almost tastes exactly like French toast. But with uh, cinnamon and maple syrup all mixed together and oh man it was the bomb because it even has a shape like a uh, like French toast yeah it's perfect but then all of a sudden as years follow by the time the the early to mid 2000s came along they started switching the toast to the squares just like cinnamon toast crunch and even worse they even put the cinnamon swirls and the maple syrup almost exactly like what the cinnamon toast crunch was but it almost leaves people confused but as long as it still has the, the same taste then that's pretty much what it is well I'm really happy that they finally brought it back uh, this year since they they were announcing that they were going to bring the cereal back on the shelves they started selling them in select cities at this rate uh, Target was selling this which I actually got it at Target uh, yesterday and it's just uh, amazing to see this back on the shelves and I'm glad to see that General Mills had brought back its old uh, its old look to what French Toast Crunch used to look but except it doesn't have window on here <laughs> but it almost looked like it dates back to 1999 because that's when they started getting this uh, same design and everything so I'm just so happy I, I'm, I was really excited when they were going to bring this up and on also on the back of the, the box it even has their remember the 90's cause since the cereal first came out you can see right here that they had a lot of uh, surveys behind all of this because yeah, I, I remember seeing these which actually, this is where it says right here. The year was 1995. General Mills had just come out with a whole new cereal bursting with cinnamon and syrup taste called French Toast Crunch. Well, it's back and tastes as good as you remembered. Pour a bowl and see how many of these 90s pop culture facts you recall. Score a point for each of you remember. And here's this. You play grunge or hip-hop jams on your boombox. That's true because I used to have a black boombox that I got as a birthday present back in 1994. I actually mostly play, uh, you know, Nirvana because they played it on, on that one station called 12.7 Kiss FM, which is in Los Angeles. And they did play some hip-hop and, and techno-pop and all that stuff. Yeah, that, that was back in the day when... Kiss FM used to be an awesome top 40 station. Yeah, with Rick D's in the morning and, and all the rest. It was awesome. 
You remember gas being under a dollar? Yep, that's true, because remember, <laughs> they used to be lower back then, and not higher like today. <laughs> you know, going up to 400 going up to $4 now. It's ridiculous. I, I like it better when it was just um, under a dollar. You know, before going a little bit higher. You insisted that people talk to the hand. Yep, that's right. Talk to the hand. Which that was actually a very popular culture that they did in the 90s. Which actually, they did use that in the movie The Patrician and the Beast. Yeah, the one with uh, Fred Drescher and Timothy Dalton. Yeah, because she always does that, that uh, phrase. Talk to the hand. <laughs> yeah. I, I like to do that too. It's really awesome. I, I know, they even used that reference in the movie Terminator Free, Rise of the Machines. So I thought that was clever. You had clothes that were either baggy, backwards, or neon. Well, I used to wear baggy pants for a while. And nowadays I am wearing size 42. So it's almost close enough. And yes, I'm, just so you know, I'm wearing my cap backwards. So, But only it's... Not really backwards, it's actually sidewards. So. And I did used to wear neon a long time ago. It was awesome. used to sit, you're secretly prepared for Y2K, which I think that was garbage back then. Yeah, we were preparing it alright, but we already know how stupid it was by the end. Yeah, it was, what a stupid idea. Just a typical end of the world garbage. We went to the video store to rent VHS tapes. Yep, that's true. We used to go to Blockbuster a lot to rent a lot of new releases at the time. Yeah, a lot of movies. In fact, I even started buying VHS tapes as well because they were awesome. Yeah. And of course, I got to buy the movie Heavyweights and that became one of my favorite movies of all time, which actually came out in 1995. Yeah, they could have mentioned that, and Casper, and all these other films, too, that came out. So, yeah, it was awesome. You knew the Macarena dance by heart. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, I remember the Macarena. Because <laughs> that was a, a very popular dance craze back in 1995. Although, the song came out in 1994, though. But it didn't come about until then. And, and then they were talking about it even during 96, too. Yeah, it was very popular. You tight-rolled your jeans. Yep, I did that. A long time ago. You practiced doing the running man in the mirror. Yeah, sort of. You had a poster of your favorite boy band on the wall. Nope, I have not. And frankly, I wouldn't want to. Unless it's the Pesh Mode or or uh, any other band that I like. No, I, I'm not dealing with these shitty boy bands like Backstreet Boys and then Stink. Yeah. Hey, unless if it's new, new Kids on the Block, then I can understand, but this is bullshit. You play video games at home more than the arcade. Yep, that's true, because I had Nintendo. And I also had the Nintendo 64 as well as Sega Genesis and the Atari and all the rest. So that's really cool because I got to play video games. You use the term shilling at my crib. Nope. <laughs> but that's definitely a very uh, common phrase uh, back in the 90s. Yeah. Chew. Okay. You frosted your hair. I did do that one time. Yeah, I had those uh, green spikes. Yeah. Back then. You totally ate French Toast Crunch for breakfast. So true. I started eating it since 1996. And you occasionally threw the word not in at the end of the sentence. Yes, I actually did say not <laughs> back then. Hey, but the funny thing about this, though, is that they didn't even mention other uh, 90s references, too, such as, which has been mentioned in the movie Clueless, 
as if or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Okay, and they even have a score chart that says, "You were the bomb." Add up to your score below, and it says, "What are your favorite '90s memories?" And it has a hashtag that says '90s flashback." It says. 12 or more, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7 or fewer. Um, I would say... I would say 11 to 10. Because <laughs> you're all that and a bag of chips. Yep, that's right. I'm all that. Just like the TV show. This is all that. This is all that. Yeah. Oh, uh oh, this is all that, this is all. Yeah, I, I love that song by TLC. Anyway, I'm just happy that it's finally uh, back on the shelves. You can see the top here, the bottom, the spines on the back, it even tells you all your favorites. I'm just so happy to open this, so happy to finally have this on the palm of my hands and I'm gonna open it right about now but I'm gonna to try to carefully open it as perf as calm as possible because I want to keep it in the box perfectly safe unbox the whole thing yeah I know it's sticky a little bit but it's okay because I think we're gonna keep it that way and voila Look at this. On the entire bag is French Toast Crunch. Just exactly what I remember it. And I'm going to open it right now. Yeah. And I'm going to pour it right in the big bowl. Not too much, but we want to save it for everybody. But I'm going to try uh, the taste that I remembered, which has the small, tiny square. It's the shape of a toast right there. And I'm going to try it right now before I eat the whole thing by pouring all the milk. Yeah, inside the bowl. It's 1% low fat milk. So. Oh, wow. Just exactly what I remembered it. It tastes like cinnamon with maple syrup all over every bite. <laughs> wow. By the way, remember the French Toast Crunch commercial that I grew up with? That's exactly how it was. Man, I am so happy that I, I finally get to try it. And now I'm going to pour the 1% low fat milk inside this big bowl filled with French Toast Crunch. And look at it go. All the way up to the top. And now. I'm going to try it for the very first time after so many years. So, bon appetit. Oh, look at that. Right there. It fit right into the spoon. And now it's going to go straight to my mouth. Excellent. Just exactly as I remembered it. It's like 1995 all over again. Except I tried it since 1996. But <laughs> sure takes me back because I never thought I would have this cereal again. And I'm so very excited. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. It does taste like French toast. And I'm just really love this cereal. <laughs> I am so relieved that this cereal is back on the shelves. You know? And I'm just so excited, man. Mmm. 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 Oh, man. I just love the cereal. So much. It's all coming back to me. So, yep. That's French Toast Crunch, guys. Definitely pick this up at your local store if you find it everywhere because I had a hard time looking for the cereal around every single store but it seems like Target was the place to have it so yeah definitely go to your local Target to see if they have French Toast Crunch because you're definitely dying for more I know I have and I hope General Mills will keep this cereal forever and ever and ever and ever and I hope they never change its formula never change it to those goddamn squares and I hope they keep it exactly on the shelves for a very long time the way it was meant to be because this is one of the best cereals that I've ever had in my entire life. It's one of my favorite cereals of all time next to all the other cereals out there including Cinnamon Toast Crunch but I also love Cocoa Krispies and Cocoa Pebbles and all this other stuff. Yeah. But this is the cereal that I would rather have in my entire home and be able to eat thousands of these you know take it down the road sharing the sweet crunch with everyone with French Toast Crunch <laughs> and yes and this and since this is not a movie review or anything this is basically my review of of this cereal alone because I love growing up eating cereals like this also the fact that I grew up with the 80s and 90s so this is my favorite 90s cereal without a doubt <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing though I do hope that now that this is finally came back because we already finally got other stuff that's coming back including the crispy M&Ms I hope they bring back Crystal Pepsi you know the one with, with the clear soda that tastes like regular Pepsi only it's clear. Yeah, I'm sure I remember Crystal Pepsi a lot because I drank it since I was a kid before they took it off the shelves. Hell, I hope they bring back other good cereals that I grew up with, including uh, Rice Krispies Treats. I mean, I want that cereal back on the shelves again. I know they try to bring it back too, but I hope they really bring it back this time around and it's not a limited edition. So I'm not so sure. Hell, I hope they bring back um, all the classics too, including um, all the cereals that General Mills had back then, like Hidden Treasures and all that. I, I hope they even bring back uh, all the good stuff that we grew up with before they took them off the shelves. So yeah, so hopefully that'll never happen again. And this time, we're lucky. And by the way, um, I also forgot to mention that uh, since it's discontinuation though, you know, Canada was the only place to actually have it. But it had like a different box that's nothing like this one. Yeah, it had a blue box, but this one is red. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of a shame. Okay. Never get tired of it. I really enjoy it. So anyway, I give French Toast Crunch an awesomely good cereal, five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.